One of the misconceptions in online teaching is that students uh, perhaps um, are less engaged uh, in the course content. Um, and if we sort of go back to the, one of the benefits of online learning, it is to be able to work within your own schedule. Whether you're working full time, whether you have a family, whatever the case might be that limits your access to perhaps a face-to-face -face class, these students are just as engaged and desire to uh, learn the content in which you teach. And so it's a misconception to think that um, uh, perhaps students are just trying to check the box, I took the course, and the reality is they want to learn from the course. Um, and you can lose them um, if you don't keep them moving along throughout the process of the curriculum. And so it is a misconception to think that students are just trying to uh, get this course done. Uh, the reality is they want to learn and they are equally engaged um, in the process. I think it would be unfortunate if you thought as an educator that you only really wanted to teach in the face-to-face -face format. I think you can, I think there might be some misconception that you don't get to know your students well. But there are ways um, to really come to understand who these students are um, and bring the students together in a really nice community in your online format. I think one misconception um, about online learning is that it's, um, that it's clinical, that it's detached and impersonal, that it doesn't really have to do with people, that it has to do with programs or formulas or algorithms or, you know, that it's just you and a laptop somewhere. Um, what I've found, um, at least at, in our purchase online classes, is that it is actually quite personal. And there are, you know, by usually a few weeks into the semester, you know, students are very familiar with each other and nicknames. They're not little pictures on a screen and they're not, you know, that there really are real authentic personalities involved and it, it may, we call it distance learning, but it's not, you're not at a distance if that makes any sense. Um, it's not necessarily an arm's length experience. It can feel um, very dynamic and very real. In the past, before I, before I learned actual online, online teaching, a lot of people would think, or my, at least myself, oh, I just post something on, on, on the server and have the student watch it or to download it. Um, that was my original thought. But after I learned how to teach online, that is, that's only a very small amount of, very small portion of online course. And basically it does need acti activities with the students, how to interact with the students. There are misconceptions that, depending on who you ask or what the context is, that fall on opposite sides of the spectrum about the same exact topic. For instance, um, some students would say online classes are really easy. And others would say, no, 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 they're not. They're really difficult. And so I think both of these things are, are misconceptions. It really, the context matters. Obviously, who's teaching the class? What's the content? Um, and then how is it being delivered? Because I, I'm sure I could look at some of my peers who are also teaching interpersonal communication or a foundational communication class in an online setting, and some of those classes may be incredibly easy, and some of them may be incredibly difficult. Um, and I don't know where I fall on that spectrum. All I know is what I teach. But I also think it's up to the individual or um, the context of that individual's learning style. If you're somebody who's really skilled at time management, if you are a self-starter, if you understand how to organize your ideas, and um, if you're not afraid to approach your professor and ask questions even through an email, then you probably will be more successful and therefore online learning might be easier. Um, so there's a lot of uh, that one area of misconception or um, the, the misconstrued idea that it's either incredibly easy or incredibly hard. Uh, there is no easy and there is no hard. It's uh, really dependent on so many other factors.